haven't been out to buy any materials or anything in a while. I'm going into Crosscut now. I've heard it's different. So far, seems pretty normal. Here's what we're looking for. The ash selection is much better than normal. Look at the size of these boards. Got about 40 board foot. Should make quite a few bases. Now over to Maple. All right, you want some entertainment? Watch me try and fit this load in my Prius. Well, that was one too many boards. You can't say I enjoy that pre-COVID uh, wood chopping. It was a lot more enjoyable. I think it's. Oh, my trunk is open. That's great. Hang on. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Northwest Nicholas. Now, uh, me? Is it me? No. Well, okay. So I've fit a lot of things in this Prius, but in a rush to get wood before the crosscut closed at four, I forgot to bring a saw and bought about a hundred board foot of wood. Northwest Nicolai Street. I feel like I may get decapitated. Turn left onto US 30 East. Yes, Google. Buy some wood if it falls. I actually don't think it can fall at me, but I don't like it. Pretty crazy. Got boards over there. Really good stuff. I don't know if people aren't going out to buy it or the selection's better than normal, but really nice. Turn left onto US 30 East. This is just turning into a vacuum vlog. Hope you like it. This stack will have to wait till tomorrow. Not gonna get it all done, obviously, but we need to start gluing up some bases. I uh, got quite a bit of orders for them, and now I have a lot of wood for them. So, maple and ash, uh, it's kind of interspersed, but I got a lot of really good wide ash that I've had a really hard time finding much ash lately, and that's gonna be really nice.
We'll load up the rest of this and these go out tomorrow. So that'll be great. I'm sure they'll be very happy to have these. All of this. It's awesome they always take the blanks, the scrap that comes out of the middle of these because they get used and we don't have to throw them away, which is amazing. So I had this nice ending and the audio got absolutely wrecked. It just is like this weird digital crackly noise. I'll let you listen. Like that, only to the grocery store. So uh, I definitely got a lot of hardwood as you saw and oof, I can't listen to that. So I'm not gonna subject you to it either. I think here I was saying that we're getting in a new Vortex 1080, which is a roughing tool. And that's gonna replace uh, some of the operations we use on those wood bases that I got all that wood for. It's got a very serrated edge. It's pretty wicked looking. It should be here tomorrow. So that should be exciting to use. Hopefully we'll at least get a, a, a view of it, but maybe we'll get to using that early next week. What else do we think Justin is saying here? I don't know. I'm looking around. I, I don't know. Let's just end this here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Catch you tomorrow.